yes praise god sorry about that um apparently i'm not allowed to do i'm just allowed to do a certain amount of time of a video so that's why i have to do it if you watch all my videos on all my page you'll realize that's what always happened so if you're my viewer at all time if you've been listening to my videos you'll you'll i guess you're going to be used to this you're getting used to this praise god so the sixth step the sixth step or the six techniques that you need to take or to to carry out should you forget your dreams first the first step to talk about first step is first you have to acknowledge right you need first you have to acknowledge um obviously not acknowledge sorry first you have to set a time set up set a, a time aside okay first of all you have to set up a time aside for um you know set the time aside a day two days sorry a day three five seven or 21 days or more if you want to depending on the gravity and the content of that dream or the yeah the, the gravity of the dreams okay so that's the first step then the second step is basically so that's what daniel did daniel set the time aside when king Nebuchadnezzar needed as somebody to tell him his dream not even to interpret the dream now but to tell him his dream so the second step is then you need to ask for mercy because that's what Daniel did. Daniel called Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, his companion, to ask for mercy first. Even when, if you, when you read their prayers, that's what they did first. They pray, oh God, our Father, the King of kings, please, Lord, mercy. We have to come to him because all have seen, have come short of the glory of God. So the second step is, sorry, the third step is you deliberately render praise and worship at midnight or from midnight to the Father deliberately because that is is that is his food the food of the lord that is his food praise and worship praise and worship is what he eats he loves it he takes pleasure in our praise and our worship he takes pleasure in it pleasure the lord delights in the praises of his people the lord delights in the praises of his people he delights in it your praise your dance in Psalm 150, it says, praise the Lord. Every, let everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord with a dance. Praise the Lord with taps. Praise the Lord with timbers. Praise the Lord with all manners, all kinds of, however you want to do it. Praise him. And in verse 1 says that, um, praise the Lord, praise God in the sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him. Just the fact that the enemy is fighting your spiritual satellite, your dream, it's a, it tells the importance of what God is trying to show to you. So that means God is amazing. Praise him in his firmament. Praise him. So by doing that, deliberate praise and worship. Praise the Lord. The scripture there that will help you to praise him, to worship him. The scripture that the, scriptures which are there to Praise him with your with his words. Psalm 106 is there. Start from Psalm 99, Psalm 99, Psalm 100. That is okay. Psalm 100, obviously, you can start. With, you can start with Psalm 100 because it, it says, "Let's come to the throne of um, enter his court with praise and his um, his gate with thanksgiving and his court with praise," which is Psalm 100 and 100. Psalm 99 talks about how he reigned. He reigned forever. How he sit between the cherubims. You know, tell him about it. Go to Psalm 102. 101, yes, and some 101, leave some 101 for like after maybe before you finish your prayer, your worship. Because some 101 is like a vow you are making to the Lord. You can understand. So you I'm just giving you a tip. Someone you someone may say to me, Oh, I I'm not I don't know what to praise him. I don't know how to praise him. So this to praise the Lord is to tell him of the works, the work of his acts, his action, the things that he's done. So that's what I'm trying to say to you. Like some 91, start with some 99. 100 and 100 some 99 100 you can do you know then straight and after 100 then go to some 102 103 from 102 103 104 105 106 all talk of his greatness his power begin to by doing just do it keep reading it studying it read it you know that's that's another way another step which is step three okay at first one is set a time aside second have to ask for mercy third deliberate praise and worship which we just talked about now 
deliberate praise and worship deliberately at night remember at night and with this i've given a scripture for that where he said your song shall be with me in the night say so your song shall be with me in the night season in the night watches so while the enemy is waiting for you to start dreaming and come and take your dreams now you are busy doing in that night time well because at night time that's where things take place at night there's so much that takes place at night where we christian sleep when we sleep so much transactions so much actions events takes place at night so why is you everybody's busy some are busy sleeping snoring you're busy 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 worshiping the lord that's step three step four is remember deliberately you don't feel you mean you, you you may not feel like doing it but you have to deliberately do it then the fourth one is deliberately deliberately where are you know come on you deliberately study your bible and read your bible the same then if you don't understand then you by after deliberately worshiping the father then deliberately set study the bible begin to learn your bible now if you're not very much acquainted with your bible start from your genesis don't take any contemporary bibles take your whatever version of bible you have that you can understand just take it you and your bible and the holy spirit and god the lord god almighty will come and show you i'm telling you the same thing that happened if the lord god almighty could just um could transport physical transportation transport or yeah transport is that how you is that not what you say yeah transport transport yeah physically transport philip from where he was to meet an eunuch um, ethiopian eunuch who was just reading on his way to somewhere that tells you how the lord god almighty if you read some one some 53 verse 1 verse 2 verse 3 says god looked down searching god has looked down searching for who who is searching? He's looked down on earth, searching for those who understand and those who seek him. And he said, seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened. Ask and it shall be given. So you're seeking the Lord. So when you sit down by opening your Bible and just, okay, starting from Genesis and you see and God made the heavens and the earth, you start to just try to familiarize yourself, start familiarizing yourself more with the Bible. You may think you know the Bible, but no, we don't. I don't know the Bible. I, th I think, I, I mean, I don't think I know the Bible. Most of the time I used to do that, but I don't know the Bible. Because when I read the Bible today, tomorrow when I come back, it's a new thing because, you know, there's so much in the Bible. So deliberately study your Bible. Or if you don't know how to study, but read, just keep reading from Genesis. Even if you're yawning, remember deliberately. That's why I use the word deliberately. When you feel sleepy, no, probably sleep off the first time. The next day, try again. That's why I've said the very first one. The first step is you can set a time. I set a time aside. You could set one day aside, and that day you spend at least six hours. At least that's minimum six hours of six hours or two and um, three days, not two days, three days. If either is either one day or three days or five days or seven, these are the things. This what this uh, the Lord Himself is the one who trained me. This will, this is how He trained me, and that's why I'm passing it over as well. Okay, so He six hours or a day right in a day if you're doing one day so you do six hours then three days if you want to do if you don't want to do a day you want to do more than a day don't do two days do three days three days five days or five days or seven days or 21 days or more depending on where however how far you want to go with the lord during that time praise god so that's the third um that's what four steps sorry um where are you come on so that's the four steps okay that's the um four step then the fifth step was deliberately deliberately get a notepad get a notepad get a notepad and deliberately write what you some of the things that you learned that day from the bible or some of the things that you sometimes even whilst you're worshiping praise and worship because while you're doing praise and worship you could just remember it and quickly you just write down if you saw if you could just remember just a, a pan write it pan because in your writing, that's what we read, read the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. When the Lord said to, to Habakkuk, come on, whatever you've seen, whatever you've seen, write it down. Write it down. Write it down. So that so, you, so that when whoever sees it will come and run with it. Because you're going to come next time to look at it, and you're going to be the one to run with it as well. Run, write it down. And there's a grace. That's what the Lord has 
you know, quotes me to know. There's a grace in writing your dreams as well down. Even your dreams, when he gives you a dream, when you begin to write your dreams down, there's a grace given for writing. There's a grace already, obviously, a grace given, you've been, you've been given the dreams, you know, but then a grace given to you, like when you execute the dreams. But when you write it down, there's a grace. Then the Lord, inter then the spirit, you get more interpretation. There's a grace that is given. It's a pen. It's called pen. It's a pen. The Lord will help you to write. Oh, when the Lord told Habakkuk, that's another deeper, I don't want to go into there, okay? Let's not go in there, but it's there's a grace. I just want to quickly shut, shut in the videos. I remember I said, I'm not going to take too much of your time. There is a grace given when writing. There's a grace given when you're writing. Even just sometimes when you're teaching, there's a grace given. And if you're not teaching, nothing gets, nothing is, you're not getting. Praise God. So that's thankful. The, that's the fifth step and the last step which is the sixth step there could be more than that i'm just giving six steps okay because i don't want to take much of your time but if you do these six steps you know probably just step one will help you some of us some of us, by just doing step one you're gone you're got you just remember it some of us we have to do the whole step some of us we have to do that two steps three steps but even your own spiritual growth as well do these steps your spiritual life on a daily basis this is what you should be doing on a daily basis or at least at least once in a month at least every month you should get this routine in your schedule praise god so the sixth one i've talked about it's deliberately watch what you eat deliberately this is that remember there's three ones the three that i've given the, the three d's i call it the three d's deliberately 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 praise and worship praise and praise the lord and worship the lord deliberately study your bible and read it deliberately get a notepad a notepad and deliberately deliberately watch what you eat watch what you eat before going to bed because sometimes the food we eat sometimes is either you're over bloated or sometimes you know the things that you eat they have some some chemicals that have to do with your your body that affects your body what you eat as well remember you are what you eat so what you eat could cause some things really these days where most of the things are so you know the devil has gone to a height of really literally destroying mankind destroying us trying to prevent us from even getting access to our father or staying in connection to our father so we as well we have to deliberately make up our mind not to do and fall into the trap of the enemy praise god so you have to we have you have to deliberately watch what you eat before going to bed or before going to sleep avoid sweets sweeties sweets sweet nibbles avoid sweets avoid eating sweet things before going to bed i'm not saying not to eat but even in your normal life avoid eating too much sweets too much sweeties too much sweets things that are so sweet too sweet like me i really don't like chocolate i'm not a chocolate fan i keep saying people are like oh my god yes i'm not a chocolate fan I do eat it when I know I need so sometimes my blood sugar, like, oh yes, I need it. I just eat. I'm I'm not I, I don't I don't crave, I mean, or I just crave for it because of some stuff. You know, so maybe sometimes I just crave because my, my body just tell me because I know what my body needs. Sometimes my body can tell me like I know when to eat apple, my body tells me and I know this is apple. I just that's how the Lord has trained me and that's how I've trained myself as well. So that's just it. So yes, yeah, so deliberately watch what you eat before going to bed especially before going to bed the lord taught me this like to begin to teach me i'm like whoa i was amazed this one this one i was amazed so deliberately watch what you what you eat before going to bed you can't just drink coke fizzy drink before going to bed no you shouldn't do that avoid it deliberately avoid eating sweet things and eating you know things which are you know that will affect your you know affect your sleep as well your you know your sleep your health as well your spiritual your spirit i don't know your body as well so avoid what you eat avoid 
eating, sorry, I've watched what you eat. Sorry, deliberately watch what you eat. Avoid sweeties. Avoid sweet nibbles. Avoid sweet things like even hot chocolate. Going to before people going to bed, they're drinking hot chocolate. No, don't do that. So what I would what I would recommend here is drink warm water, drink warm water before going to bed. Drink fresh, um, fresh lemon or lime in a water, cut it and put it in a drink and drink it before going to bed. And or ginger in a water and drink. Put a ginger in your water and drink it. Just cut it and drink it. Sometimes, or you can actually even just take a ginger, eat it. And I this is what I do. Just did before going to bed, especially if you always forget your dreams and don't remember your dreams as well. Deliberately do these things. One of these things will work for you. Especially this, just take a ginger, eat it before going to bed. Don't get so heavy. Don't get so heavy. So drink water. Don't drink, some said I drink coffee. Don't, don't drink those things. All you should be drinking is water. Water with lem, warm water or lem water. Obviously, when you are, if you are in a cold country, drink warm water. You know, then if you know if you're not in a cold country, drink just normal water, lemon or lime. Cut it and put it in the water. Cut lemon or lime in the water and drink, or just eat. I, for me, I cut and cut just um, what's it called? Ginger. I just cut it and it eats. Go to sleep. It sharpens. You, do you know it's a cleansing? Ginger's lemon. They cleans. They cleans your your systems. They clean. Do you know if you're if you're eating whatever you, I mean it's the things you eat. That's what they most doctors or students. They most of the times what do they do? They drink water more sometimes because they if they can't think or water helps them to think and something like that, isn't it? Water does help them to think very well, think properly. You know, like you know, it's so good. It's water is pure. It's purity. It's it cleanses. That's what sometimes when I feel there's some way I feel, I just know what I need. I just know what my body is asking for it for me. I know even when I'm dizzy, I just know my body, and I know what my body is, my body requires straight away, and I go and eat, and I go and take what I what, what my body needs, and I just go and eat it. I'm not joking. I've been doing this for over decades, long time. Actually, especially when I know what I feel, I've just been doing this. So, but with this dream one, this ginger, the stuff, the Lord, I started like, I, this is what I just. You know, the enemy was almost trying to attack my dream life. I started like kind of doing all of these things, my experiments. I did my experiment and I started like, wow. So these are the things and we're working for me. So these are the things, the steps, my recommendation. I said, deliberately watch what you eat as well. In general, watch what you eat. Watch what you eat, what you take in. Let's watch it. So that's as well. That's what I wanted to say. So in conclusion, I want us to read a book of the same book of Daniel. We're just going to conclude now. Daniel chapter 2 verse 19 because we stopped at 18, didn't we? Um, come on, where are you? Daniel chapter 2 verse 18. We stopped at verse 18, isn't it? So verse 19 now. Verse 19, right? Then verse 19 says, Then was the secret revealed, then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Then God, he said, then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Why? The first thing he did, first, Daniel set a time aside. He did set a time aside and then he prayed and asked for mercy. When he asked for mercy and prayed for the Lord to reveal these things to him, to reveal the dream that somebody had. A king had so he can tell him the dream and the Lord obviously didn't tell him just the dream he told him the interpretation of the dreams and Daniel did interpret the dreams he told him the dreams he interpreted the dreams to him and then that's how Daniel became obviously the the rule you know the head of um, the whole of them became the head in the palace in the king's palace so God gave him so they said, then they said, it then was the secret. Then was a secret revealed because he set a time. He set aside time. He prayed for mercy. He, he didn't even, it was because obviously the, the prayer was not even for himself, but it was for the king. But the same time for him himself, he had to pray for they, themselves. They had to pray. Obviously, it was, he, he had a, a team that he was praying together with, praying with. 
So they had to, he had to ask for mercy because none of us can stand before the Lord God Almighty. He said, that's what we read in the book of Psalm 143. That no one, Psalm 143 verse 2, no one standing before you can be justified. No. When God judges us, we cannot be justified. No, no one can justify before the Father. No. All have sinned. We all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. Even the person coming to inquire of the Lord, we have sinned. So we have to show that respect. Lord, please. I'm not really worthy of this, but I'm just want to ask a question. And that's what we do most of the times when, you know, um, some people come when I um, get cases and all that. And I ask, I just before asking the Lord, Lord, please, what do you want? You know, please, before I ask about, about a particular case or whatever I pray for, I pray for mercy. And when we come to the Bible, the Bible says, let us now come, the book of Hebrews, let us now come boldly to the throne of grace and obtain mercy in times of need. So let us come boldly with boldness that because our Father is a merciful God to so this throne, the throne of grace and obtain mercy in times of need, in times of prayer, in times of need. So we can still go after, that's why Jesus came, that's why the blood was there. So that's, that's, that's this are the grace that we are actually even talking about sometimes when we come to ask the Father. These are the grace that we should be, we are talking about, the Lord is talking about, that we, we are saved by grace, or grace that we are really talking about, not the grace of, you know, you, grace has, Jesus Christ has paid it for us, grace of not putting on this, grace of not put, putting on all of these things and all the jewelry, sorry, all the Jezebel stuff, materials, no, that's not it. The grace is, these are, these are the kind of a grace, this is what that grace is, coming to the throne of grace. And obtaining mercy, obtaining, obtaining, obtaining is that we don't deserve it. It's the same way as we don't deserve the grace. So this is it. So we, by doing this, then the Lord will bring back the dream to us. Like I said, he could bring the dreams back to you in the same manner again. Or he could change the the the, the sect of the dream. He could change the, the, the picture of the dream. But it's the same, it's the same, the scene or, sorry, he could change the pictures and the the actions and all the, the events that goes on, but it's still the same the dream, okay? So then the Lord will reveal any of them. If maybe you do first step, first, the first step or the second step, then you will get it. Praise God. Oh my gosh, time. So that's it really. So praise God. I think this is what I wanted to share. Oh, thank God. This is all I wanted to share. So any of the steps depending will work for you or like depending on the level where you are with the Father or your spiritual life your spiritual realms or your spiritual life with the father then you know some of us could just we need, we need to go through the whole steps the whole six steps some of us would just need one step so i pray that the lord god almighty um will help us and i pray that you remember your dreams after doing the steps and if you're blessed if 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 it blesses you please you share the video to to your friends and families or tell your friends and family about it it's not about i'm not here about it's not about you telling sharing sharing my videos but it's all about sharing when i say share sharing the ideas sharing what you have learned what you have got what you have received and learned to your fellow brothers and sisters in christ to your families around you to people around your friends and families of people you want to do recommend it to them as well recommend such things you don't have to tell them you're learning from me you don't have to tell them no you don't, that, that, that doesn't really matter but it's just pass the message let people get to know that they can, these are the steps they can take for them to remember their dream. And I pray that the Lord God Almighty will help us. And as you remember your dream, you will get to your, to the, to the, to the place where God wants you to be. You will get to the place that God wants you to be. And you will become, a, I mean, you'll become even um, a teacher of all. You, I mean, a teacher of others. You become a teacher. You'll become what God wants you to be. And you enjoy the eternal life. Praise God. So this is all I wanted to share for now. Praise God. And I wanted to quickly use this opportunity to say we're having um, we're having a, um, our fellowship. We're having a, a conference this month, the June, June 17th. Sorry, June from Friday, this, Friday, the 18th of June on a daily basis from 18th of June to the 27th of June, Sunday, the 27th of June. And we're going to be having our fellowship and we're going to be having a conference 7 p.m. daily a zoom conference so if you're interested the zoom um id and the password will be i'm, I'm going to share it here on, on on below the details in the video you see it there if you have any questions 
I think then I'm going to have to put my number there. My number will be there. And just send me a WhatsApp message and I will give you any details you want. Um, so it's called Youthful Exuberance. And um, it's not for youth, it's for everyone. So it's called Youthful Exuberance. And come and learn what, what, what we need to talk about this Youthful Exuberance. You know, and we're going to be doing dreams interpretation. There's going to be privacy praise and worship. Dreams interpretation is going to be have a dream workshop. So I'm going to be interpreting dreams. Bring your dreams that you have had for 25 years, 40 years, since you were a child. Bring it. By the Spirit of the Lord God Almighty helping me, I will interpret it to you. I will, I will help you to interpret the dreams. You know, so it's just going to be dreams interpretation. We're going to be talking about the Word of God. We're going to be studying the Bible as well. And we, yeah, it's a conference. So if you're interested, the the details are on the Zoom. The Zoom there. Just just pop in any other day that you, you can attend. It's, it's starting from Friday the 18th of June this month till the 27th, Sunday the 27th of June this month. As you attend, may God bless you. And if you do not attend, please remember remember us in your prayers. It's uh, the name of our ministry. It's Iceberg, Iceberg Fellowship. Iceberg Prayer and Bible Study Fellowship. That's, that's our fellowship. So if you remember us, if you remember to pray, if you remember my face, please remember to pray for, pray for me, pray for us. And I pray that the Lord God Almighty will help all of us so that we will be, be a Christian without spot or a church without spot and wrinkles. And we will fulfill the will and the purpose of God for our lives in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time again. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom.